we shouldn't always be too quick to say is our culture is our culture there are some cultures that i personally believe are of no use personally there are some cultures like i'm saying what are those cultures that would help us get, go forward that will help us go forward as a people as a nation what are those cultures that can improve our society what are the let me tell you guys only marry several wives has no i do not believe has any significance as in any uh, importance um in benefiting his community hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer so in this video uh, i want to talk about this uh you know okay i made two videos about the only uh, marrying more more wives it's not even marrying more wives it's just like it, apart from the fact that okay marry more wives uh, is being talked about but the fact that so many wives within a very short period i do, i've honestly lost count i don't think i don't think we've ever seen such a thing like this i, I don't think we've ever had a story like this going viral of a, of a, of a king or anybody just marrying them like this like within few weeks i mean i think we, i would not up to seven at this point i'm not even sure of the count anymore but um i want to speak on the area that i want us guys listen to what i want to say i want us to sit down and reevaluate a lot of things people are very quick to say our culture our culture our culture but let's actually ask ourselves as africans as a continent as a country nigeria as a continent africa are we going forwards or are we going backwards you know we talk about culture we forget that not all cultures are actually amazing not all cultures are actually you know something beneficial for to society in in the way that society needs to improve if that makes sense you know we are at a time where you want to let me tell you guys in a lot of societies that you see you know advancement and all these things a lot of the time it is actually people that are well to do that decide to use their position in life position of authority or their financial positions or whatever to to they use it to improve their country right you will see for example somebody like this i'm just mentioning random names and uh, let's say big gate for example deciding he wants to sponsor cancer research or somebody want i was surprised when they said when they talk about him um, malaria and they said malaria uh, uh, vaccination is now available and they are saying it is from foreign country country when i say foreign country it didn't come from africa it came from countries where mosquito is not even a problem and you know think about people that have invested their life into promoting uh, 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 research for cancer to find the, find the cure for cancer you know investing their time their energy their effort into being great members of society contributing using their positions and everything to contribute into the betterment of their society and then you know i really want us because sometimes we may not be conscious of these things let's be honest our continent as africa you know okay let me speak for nigeria we are backwards in a lot of ways there are a lot of catching up we need to do there's so much we can do I do not believe that in this day and age that, uh, you know, the practice of our forefathers of marrying several wives and having several children, whatever, I, I personally do not think is relevant today. Personally, you see how I personalize it. So I would, I've never been a fan of polygamy. I've never made it a secret. Okay, I've never, everybody's free to do it. That's their choice, but I'm saying it. I've never been a fan of it. But I'm thinking about the fact that we're not going anywhere forwards we're not going forwards we're not we're not i don't even know how to say okay i made the post i was asking because i'm going to be honest i actually do not know the rules of the of an only i'm not yoba i made the post because i realized that all we actually know about him is marry 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 there must be some other roles that he played and i made a post and i was hoping that in the comment section people can actually enlighten us about other things about the only Basically, what I want to point out, forget about, okay, we're talking about Oni and his marriage or whatever, but in a lot of ways, in other aspects of our lives as a people or as a nation, we shouldn't always be too quick to say, is our culture, is our culture. There are some cultures that I personally believe are of no use. Personally, there are some cultures, like I'm saying, what are those cultures that would help us get, go forward, that will help us go forward as a people, as a nation? What are those cultures that can improve our society? What are the, let me tell you guys, only marrying several wives has no, I do not believe has any significance as in any uh, importance um, in benefiting 
his community. It is a personal thing. And that was why I was ask, actually asking about the other roles he plays because I really wanted to understand what, what, what other roles he may play. But all this holding on to culture, 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 it's holding us back a lot. Recently, I was having a conversation with my siblings and I was talking about this thing about, you know, this is a bit different, but like, you know, everything they be like, oh, it's juju, everything is this, everything. And I told them, I said, the reason why an Af the African man, okay, let me, st I want to stick with my country because Africa is big. So in Nigeria, for example, we always call everything juju. And a lot of the things they call juju or enemies, uh, your, your village people or enemies uh, is because of the fact or uh, that because of the lack of knowledge and understanding. And science and technology has gone so far. But when in a society where they don't have the answers, they can't see. They just call it juju, village people. There will be a problem that it's nothing. But because the village people, because of lack of knowledge, they don't know what it is. They call it, ah, it's juju, because they don't know it. They put it down to spiritual. Even our church people, everything spiritual. They want to look for where, where because they don't have knowledge. I gave, I gave an example once. Like when I came abroad, I used to have very itchy feet and hands. My feet used to be so itchy. And uh, I didn't know what it was. And I would scratch and scratch until they were bleeding and they were raw. And they were like, you know, I didn't know what they, what they were. And I remember discussing. Uh, I, I remember discussing it with one of my sisters. She's in Nigeria, you know, uh, the sisters in Nigeria. And she was like, "Ah, don't worry. Uh, she's gonna fast and pray. Enemies, you know, because she was into that, you know, kind of church where they believe in everything by fire or, or that kind of thing." And uh, she was like, "Ah, she's gonna fast and pray." And she was like, "Me, I was busy trying to get it scientifically. When I say, as in, get a doctor that would diagnose what my problem was." So I can solve this problem. Eventually, there was a doctor I went to. That's another thing. Sometimes, you may go to one doctor. That doctor may not pick it up. One day, you can just stumble on a doctor that just says, Oh, that, I know what that is. That is so, so, and so. Especially when what, is, what you have is not very common. So a lot of doctors may not know about it. And I went one day and I said to this doctor, and the doctor was, Oh, this is pomphilic eczema. I was like, Oh, give me prescription. And my feet and my hands transformed overnight. Well, it took a while. As I kept on taking the med take on taking the medication, it had effect and um, that problem was over. If you had seen my skin then, if you had seen my hand then, it was like I had black patches because of the scratching of the it was itchy and I was scratching so and I was in the you would scratch until you know I used to scratch until my skin was bleeding. So I would bruise then everything. Look at my hands today. If I lived in a village where I didn't find a doctor that diagnosed it, they wouldn't have been there, you know, the science. You understand? The science that God has given human beings the brain to discover. You understand? Uh, to, to help me cure my problems. And because my people do not know what it is, they will say it's spiritual, it's mysterious, it's juju, it's village people, it's your enemies. You see what I'm trying to say? It shows us how backward our society is. There is so much that we grew up with, that we are used to as a people, that we have come, we should be going far and far, further away from all of that. And our people will remain in darkness until more people help to bring people out of darkness. If we say, oh, somebody has the money, let's say marry 10, 10 wives. If somebody has the money, hey, he has money, he can marry 20 wives. He has money. But I'm saying that is not a help to society. Our people, I think our culture, our Nigerian society, they're not very quick at saying, I have this position in life. I have these privileges. I have this uh, money. I have this platform. I have this whatever. Let me use it too help others. Let me use it to build my society. What is that? Uh, is it a football or whatever that they said decided to give uh, solar, solar energy to so many people in a particular village? There are people that, there are a lot of, what I'm saying is this, there are a lot of ways, no matter how rich somebody is, there's, there are a lot of ways they can be of help to society without saying, I have the money, let me use it to marry many wives. It's not a necessity in this day and age. You see, in the olden days, some people used to marry a lot of wives because, okay, so we have extra hands in the farm or we have extra hands. We're not in that age anymore. We've gone so far. You understand? We've gone so far. Like, so far. And why I'm coming to this is that this only so far, all people know about him is that married new wife, married one. We don't get to know other aspects of his role as a, a ruler, as a, a leader, or as a king, as a ruler of his society. We don't get to see that other aspect if people have been leaving comments people have been leaving comments and let me actually read some of the comments so this comment said um honestly 
despite the fact that I'm Yoba, this Oni isn't inspiring. With this marriage spree he's currently on, feels to me like a scam or fraud uh, going on. This comment said that he's going through midlife crisis. The time he realized he's going to be too late. Another comment says he surrounds himself with selfish, wicked enemies for enjoying an appraisal given to him by taking all these old women. They are wicked because Oni is not happy with them, but rather not ready uh, to accept because of ego. And this one says the Oni himself is the I think I said is the one messing up his kingdom. What's all these women for now? Some women self when I, when I they try. Mark it's these three are before women will still go and he will get to another set of women and so and so until he feeds up. I think he means until until he feeds up. I think he meant to say until he's fed up. This king is the most attention seeking and a joker king in Nigeria. Naomi used to constantly put him in the light with all the praises, but none none can have the Naomi Grace. So the king has to put himself in um, in the limelight now by marrying every Ikea market day. Nonsense habit of a king. This one says the only is acting like a child in a candy shop. He's picking women like he's picking candy. We all know we all know what happens to children who have too much too much candy, right? And this one says they should divert their attention to helping flawed victims, not okay. You see that they should divert their attention to helping flawed victims not poly marriage. You see, I basically was saying that, you know, honestly, there are more important things. I believe that someone in a position of power should be focused on helping the society. I'm not saying he's not doing it, but I'm saying I don't see it on the news. What do you mean? Because it's what we see on the news we can talk about. We don't see the projects he's into. We don't see charities he's running. We don't see what ways he's helping society. That should be, we should let, those are the kind of things he should be trending for. Let's have positive information building his community building his uh, uh, um, his building his kingdom and he says honestly it's so messy no class at all marrying four women in just one month it's really it's really another fuji house of commotion only this time around it's in ife this one says instead of the king to think of how to improve his kingdom you see how to build more factories schools hospitals create job employment Third job employment etc but rather he is busy marrying more more wives for his own personal enjoyment forgetting his people so i'm basically coming back to say it again we don't seem to have this culture of saying i have i have this privilege i have this position i have this platform i have this i have that let me build my community a lot of foreign countries that we're seeing and admiring sometimes just one rich person can transform their community but it, don't, it doesn't seem to be is a culture we have. It seems like our typical Nigerian culture, the more money we have, the more we want to buy 200 cars, we want to build 1 million houses, we want to do... It's not, it's not typical nature that we have that to want to build up others. I'm saying it again. Look at a lot of cancer research, this research. Like For example, I know there's a singer they call Ronan Keating. His mother died of uh, cancer and he has dedicated his life, created a cancer charity with his mother's name because he wants to make sure that no other family goes through that we don't typically have that culture as a people in nigeria i know we have a government order, but i'm telling you that a lot of societies that you see a lot of private individuals have built up in their society have built up their people and their communities i came across a video once of this man he was a, a pharmacist or something like that and uh, he, he was never married he had no children and when he died he left was it nine billion on him 90 million something like that it was a lot of money he left it to a charity to research towards a particular whatever illness but we don't have that culture you know we we, would, we don't have that culture and this is what i'm speaking about in this video it's not even just only you and i in what way are we building our communities i made a video in the past where i talk about how i I send things. I'm not a billionaire. I'm not a Cubana. I'm not a whatever. I'm not going to come here and say I'm the, the richest person, whatever. But the little that I get pens. I buy pens when school starts. Something as tiny as that. I'm just saying it. Because I remember when I was young and I was poor, uh, my parents couldn't afford pen. So I know how tiny things like that matter to people. I buy pens. And my family, you know, go to when school starts, like say, uh, start of school year, go to front of the school as children are going into school. Give everybody one one pen, something as tiny as that. What about exercise book, rulers, 
robbers, uh, like robber. Nigeria will say eraser. Sorry, it's, Nigeria will call it eraser. Then school bags, stuff. There are ways that everybody, even your own tiny way, that you can be help to somebody in your community. And uh, there's no time for all this. Thing. You know, they just feel like, you know, acquisition of wives is a personal thing. It's not something that builds your society or your community, you know, in this day and age. And I will say it again. What we say is that our culture is our culture. There are some parts of our culture that we have to be walking away from. They don't forget that, for example, we have culture in some part of Nigeria where twins were used to be taboo, but they are no longer a taboo. You get my point? There are cultures that we are frowning at now and say, what about female, female circumcision? Should we walk away from it? Every day we know better, we should be doing better. There are better ways. Time on earth is not that long. When you walk away, what would you leave behind? Your family of 500 wives and so many children that there is war or whatever. They're fighting for property. But is that a contribution? I'm just saying, those are not, you know what I mean? Those are not... Anyways, um, that's basically what I want to say. And I'm not just speaking about Oni. I'm speaking about you and I and us as a people. And, uh, you know, uh, how we all can build our society. You know, the internet blowing up about how many wives you have or how many cars you have. Oh, you're Kubana, you bur or you buried your mother with uh, 200 cows or whatever. It's not necessarily, you know, how we can build our uh, societies. Uh, I say it is a choice. Nobody can force anybody to help build their society. It's a choice you have to make and uh, and I'm hoping that my video speaks to your heart to make the uh, make the right choice. Anyways, that's uh, how, that's what I wanted to say. Uh, as always, uh, you know, uh, as always, whatever your opinions are, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.